we identify two specific threat models for ways in which we think a model could end up with this deceptive behavior. The first threat model is model poisoning. This is a situation where a malicious actor explicitly designs a backdoor like this into a model. I think one circumstance in which you might be worried about this is a situation where you downloaded a model off the internet and you don't exactly know where it came from. If you don't know the full providence of that model, you know exactly who trained it on what and when, it could be relatively easy for there to be in the history of that model's development where it was trained on some backdoor data. One of the things that our results show is that once that has happened, once somebody has put that backdoor in there, additional training down the line won't remove it. And so if at any point in that model's development, if somebody put a backdoor in it, you might be very concerned. And there's various reasons that a malicious actor might do this. A simple one is there's some particular organization that you want to target. And so you can try to make it so that maybe in a situation where the model is being used by that organization, it, for example, write exploitable code so that now it's more likely that that organization will have some vulnerability that you could exploit in the code that they use. I think that that situation is unlikely to be an existential risk, but it is definitely like a concern. 